Welcome to Caveman Bricks Builds and More. I am the Caveman. This is Dragon J Boy Gaming, who's now hiding behind our set for the day. Today is a very special. Today is a very special build day because it is Halloween, which Halloween at Hogwarts was always a huge deal. They decorated everywhere with floating pumpkins, Candy. and and they had a huge Halloween feast every year. Uh, Harry the first, loves Hogwarts because yeah. of his feast. Yeah, of and feast. Uh, like how Harry's first year at Halloween was the year that the troll got in during the Halloween feast. Uh, it's also a special day in the history of Harry Potter because it is the day that Lily and James Potter were murdered by Voldemort in Godric's Hollow, and that Voldemort was defeated, and then Harry went to go live with his aunt and uncle. So, lots of important things center around Halloween. So we are going to build, uh, we're gonna unbox and build the first part of this set right here. We are gonna do two parts to this video. Part one, we're gonna unbox it today and build half. Then part two, we'll build the second half and we'll do a review. And when we do the review, we will bring in all the Hogwarts castle sets that we have done recently and put them together into one big Hogwarts because this is the last castle set that we have. This is Lego set 75948 the Hogwarts Clock Tower. Are you ready to unbox? Yes. All right, here is the front of the box here. And the first thing that I notice is we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minifigures. Madame Maxime, Albus Dumbledore. Then we get the- I'm um, jealous. Yeah, then we got the- um, Champions, Victor Crumb, Cedric Diggory, Fleur de la Cour, Harry Potter, and we also get Ron and Hermione. Um, so this is obviously a Yule Ball centered set. Um, this takes place in what book? Book four. Book four, the uh, Goblet of Fire. Um, the Yule Ball is the scene in there where they have the big party around Christmas time. Um, <coughs> No Hagrid, no Crack Off. I don't think we have any sets that have Crack Off in the modern line. So I don't think we're gonna get a Crack Off. We don't have any Crack Offs? No. However, we do have a lot of other Yule Ball pieces because in Minifigures Part 4, we opened the 2020 Advent Calendar and it was all Yule Ball based. Do you remember that? Uh huh, it had. Wait, I wonder if Hogwarts visited another school, what would it be? I don't know. Probably Bucks of Bonds or um, Drumstag. Maybe it'd be Elvami, the American school. All right. Oh. Um, I do see parts of the castle kind of back behind this thing. Does look like we get a Christmas tree and some tables. And guys, we shall build Hogwarts Tron. Yep. Uh, we get some tables, maybe with some ice sculptures on them. Um, and then there's a big clock up here. Okay, do you notice anything else about the front here? Hagrid's gonna be jealous. Yes, Dumbledore and Madame Maxime are together, except that in the book, Dumbledore did dance with Madame Maxime. So, that is a thing. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. Hagrid gonna be mad when he find out. All right, Judah. Lots of things on the back. One of the things that I see is that the clock is mechanized, so there will be a little lever to make that clock turn. And it also looks like there's going to be a dance floor that somehow will allow the figures to turn and dance. And look. Yes, and Hag and Madame Maxime is dancing with Dumbledore, just like the scene in the book. Uh, it also looks like we have Dumbledore's office which is curious because in the Great Hall build, we had a thing that we thought was Dumbledore's office because it had Fox in it, and then down below it, it had the sorting hat. This office, though, has the pensive in it, which is the memory viewer thing. So he can put his memories inside of there and view them. Um, it also looks like we have the prefect's bathroom with the giant bathtub and the mermaid um, glass window. And then we've got uh, the infirmary here. And Ron looks like he's laying down in the infirmary. That's what it looks like to me because we've got these dividers like you would have in a hospital kind of thing. Uh, and then also it looks like we've got a goblet full of blue <laughs> fire for a goblet of fire. Hi-ya! Yep. 
All right, anything else that you notice, Judah? Uh, I noticed that there are Christmas trees. Yes, there's Christmas trees. Oh, there's the sword of Gryffindor probably up above. Yeah. His office. I'm surprised that they didn't like put like little like. She's Wondering if this is supposed to be the Gryffindor common room or the library, maybe. There's definitely an, like a stunning area with some interesting objects in it. So <laughs> that's pretty interesting. We'll have to see what that looks like. All right. There's also a room back here that I'm not sure what that is. It's an interesting little room. All right. Hagrid must be, I mean, um, Dumbledore must be honored to have Harry go to yep. his school. Our comparison figure is Dumbledore, and we've got all the figures up there kind of together. On this side here, we've got a repicture of the front, then we've got the bottom, and then the only thing of note on this side is this little um, IF tag. This is because I actually got this at the Lego store some time ago. And even though I got it at the Lego store, the box has been damaged a little bit. I'm not sure how that happened. Okay, we're almost ready to open it. How many bags are inside? This has 922 pieces. It's more pieces than the Great Hall. Um, so how many bags are inside? I would say around seven. Seven bags, okay. Because that had... um Six. Yes, and it... It's uh, like a hundred pieces more. Okay. All right. Um, how many instruction books? I think there's going to be two. Two instruction books. How many sticker sheets? Um, I'm going to say two. Okay. Just to be I'm going to say six bags, one instruction book, two sticker sheets. Okay. All right. Let's get it open. I did see quite a few stickers. Yes, it does look like there's quite a few stickers. Why in every Lego set are there stickers? It's like Beyblades. Kara told me Beyblade people. Kara told me put stickers on Beyblades. Back two. Back six. Back four. Back one. Zero. Back zero. Back five, and back three, and, oh, what? So, I said six bags, one instruction book, two sticker sheets. There are six bags, one instruction book, and two sticker sheets. Oh, I got it perfectly what? right. What? So we, today, we'll do bags one, two, and three. And look at that. No. Even though this is a little bit older set. Hey, I think you know, look. Okay, so today we're going to do bags one, two, and three. Uh, part two will be bags four, five, and six. Um, and the review. Are you ready to build, sir? But they weren't in a bag. But look at this. <coughs> yeah, some ice pieces. Oh, Dad, I just thought of it. I just thought of it. I just thought of it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see how our minifigures are distributed. Shall we? They haven't seen it yet, though. All right. Bag one, we get... Madam Maximi and Crack Off. Bag, Wait, bag, I thought you said we didn't have a Crack Off. I'm sorry, uh, Victor Crumb. Madam Maximi and Victor Crumb. Bag two, Fleur de la Cour and Albus Dumbledore. Bag three, um, Cedric Diggory and Ron. Bag four, Hermione. Bag five, Harry. Bag six, the Christmas tree. Just so, the Christmas bag one, we get Victor Crumb and Madam Maximi. Cool. It's frost time. Don't and I worry. think, yep, they're gonna share a wand. Oh wow! Why are they sharing wands? Also, that mine. Uh, no. uh yes, I just called it. Okay, I think that's all the pieces. 
We got the tall thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We got a sort of smiley face, then a sad face. Oh man, I'm next to me. <clears throat> this is how I roll. Oh. Hey dad. Yeah. How about for the castle, we just take like one of each minifigure. Mm, we'll have to see how we want to do it. Like, just one of each minifigure. Because, like, we have, like, multiple minifigures in what we think would probably fit the best. Which ones fit the best, we put in there. But, like, say how we have multiple Harrys, we would only put one Harry. Mm. Harry, you understand me? Yes. You see me? I think we're going to have a lot of ice features on this part of the castle, though. And the minifigures are not. It would be cool. Like, I doubt that there's even a crack off, which means it's an impossible. Well, there, there was one figure. in an old set that's not part of the run that we're doing right now. What color wand would he have? I uh, probably black would be my guess. Okay, so if we got that old set, then we could get a crack off. No. Okay. As a matter of fact, the, old set. the set that he comes from is an old drumstrag ship set. Wait, but I thought Krakow was a minister. No, he was the head of the drumstick school. Oh, okay. Look at that. He kept these down. Look at that. Look at that. Building up the ice sculpture table. That is going to go and sit on top of this. The unicorn horns don't want to stay in place. There we go. Look at that. Well, those do kind of look like gears, don't they? Yeah, I thought they were originally gears. Maybe that's what will make the clock turn. <gasps> hey, Dad, if one of these is an extra, can I keep it? Especially this one. <laughs> we'll see, buddy. Because I think what it's going to be is maybe that dance floor that we saw. Yeah, probably. And while I make a Beyblade, that's going to make something totally unimportant that we're probably never going to need it. I am making, like, ice sculpture tables right now. Yeah, that's not really important. And then, bam. There we have the empty layer. We haven't even started the castle yet. And I already created the energy layer of a Beyblade. Uh, there you go, baby. Ooh, what's this? I don't know. What is it? It's a spin. <gasps> this could be a free spin, baby. Oh my word! Okay, this is that other table that we saw. That's going to go in here. And now we've got two tables. And now we're going to start working on the castle a little bit. Everybody. You have any um, stuff to be folding up? I'll probably take one. Now remember, I am going to need pieces to build.
Does it look like a castle yet? No, not even <laughs> to us. I have no idea what this is supposed to be right now. Oh wait, I need to get a piece. Wait, what? I'm so confused right now. Oh yeah? How come? Because look, the front side doesn't fit, the back side doesn't fit. It doesn't make any sense. I need this to fix it. Oh, putting in a fire element already. Oh, I know exactly what to do. Maybe this is supposed to be some kind of chimney or something? Yeah, maybe. I need to make a trap. Look at that. The track, if it gets knocked over and gets hit, that track is free spinning, that part. That track, oh no, 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 that's so wrong. I'm interested to see how these things actually get used in our build. How? What? The spinny things? Yes. The free spin plates? Yeah, I'm actually kind of interested as well. And then put one of them up. You go, boy. It does seem like Lego loves the U ball a lot. And I'm very curious as what about the Yule Ball makes Lego so interested. I guess Maybe. it's the only like school dance kind of thing that they ever do. Dad, look at this. It's pretty cool, buddy. Anyways, I'm going to need like Hey, I think we're getting close on bag one here. Dad, look at this. That's pretty cool. Yeah, just... Definitely some interesting pieces so far, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Nope, that doesn't work. Like yeah. that. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this. Yeah. Kind of a super advanced lazy Susan. Magical lazy Susan, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But as a table, like in a table form. Know what I mean? Yep. Dad, like this. Basically, there's a different meal on each tray. And yeah. It's just not what I visualize. Anyways. Different than this one. This one's like different like this. There we go. Okay. Judah, I think I'm going to start needing some of those parts. So go ahead and take that apart for me, buddy. No. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. oh.
a stamina type okay. or a defense type or like I think you've got a part that I need, so I need you to go what, ahead and start taking apart part? one of these. Oh, okay, I can just get rid of the free spin. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to build this. Can you build this for me? Poor dad. Thank you. It was really cool, but we're building Harry Potter stuff, right? No, it's just one. So you're gonna put this on it. And then this on top of that. Uh oh. that on here like that okay all right judah now each of these goes under one of these Then, when you have the people on here, when you turn this, it'll turn all those platforms so that they can dance. So they are gears. Yep, they are gears. Pretty cool, huh? Okay. Okay. Then this is going to go on here like that. And there we go. And then you can even spin this if you want. Both of them. That's the exact I don't know. Thing. I've got to build some more stuff on here, so maybe it won't spin. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to spin. Oh, yep. Do I look? Let's look at the box. It says that the platform and those are supposed to spin. Oh, yeah. But it also looks like at the exact same time, so I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it will still spin. Okay. Probably not. In this stub. And where else are we supposed to get these gear pieces? And I don't how know. are we supposed to spin? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, look, you're supposed yeah. to spin the bottom part, and that rotates it. Yeah, I think so. That's cool. It's really cool. I've never seen gears like that. Uh huh. And that's what also. So we are working on this uh, dance floor right now. We just got done putting these gears on, which we've never seen gears like those before. And we just discovered that they would make really good Beyblades if we find some other ones.
very icy. These, you want to help me put these on, Judah? We're gonna put these in here with this, like icicles coming down. Why is it so mixed up? I don't know. All right, that is it for bag one. So we built Madame Maxime, Victor Crumb these two tables and the dance floor. So now we are going to move on to bag two. We've got a few extra pieces here. You wanna hang on to that piece? No, okay. All right, bag two, we get Dumbledore and Fleur de la Cour. Ooh, looks like we're gonna start on power too. Sometimes they put the minifigure heads in the big bag and sometimes they put them in the little bags and I can't ever make sense of why certain things go certain places. Maybe heads are too small for some places. I think the heads are all the same size. Maybe there's too much in the bag but there's enough room in the little bag. Maybe. And these figures are going to share ones. Or her legs. Said, or her legs. I don't know, buddy. I'm looking. Or does it have her legs? It's a gray piece. Dad can never find the legs. Because it's not legs. These are Lego legs. Have you seen any normal Lego piece with the tabs of a Lego legs? Besides Lego legs? No, no, you haven't. That's why they're little legs. <laughs> okay. Does she ever have more detail on her robe? I guess not. They're pretty plain, aren't they? Mm-hmm. So, we're going to do back three and then do part two tomorrow, October 32nd? There is no October 32nd. But we will me? film part two tomorrow, but it'll be a few days before it actually gets released. November 1st, then. Okay. Dad? This part of the castle would look really good with the carriage next to it. Uh, Dad? Yeah? Dumbledore missing his beard. I found his beard. Oh, you get it. You forgot his beard. I, the beard's printed, so I never think to get an additional beard piece. Yeah, Nigga, why you do this to us? It's kind of weird. Yeah! Little minifigure heads are so hard to get off. Oh, you can help. Mm-hmm. There you go. Why do... Why did they make wizards all powerful? Is my question. They're not all powerful. They're basically all powerful. And wouldn't it be strange to muggle parents who never knew that magic existed? Did. Yeah, I I kind of think that at some point in time they make the parents forget that the magic exists. But the. But what? I'm, I'm, I'm so confused. Why would they do that? Evil school. Why is the school evil? Okay, I don't think I built this right. Oh, I did. That's weird. Okay. But why? What? I'm so confused. Why? Confused about what? Why would... But then, 
do that to the kids. They don't do it to the kids. They do it to the parents. I know, but, like, why would... They don't make the parents forget their kids. They just make them forget that the kid knows magic. Why? They're their kids. Because they're muggles. But they're... They can keep a secret, can't they? Can they? I don't know. That'd be a pretty hard secret to keep, wouldn't it? What if I came and told you one day that I was magical and you weren't? Well, that's what my parents are about. Technically, if I was magical and you weren't, you would be a squib, a not a muggle. A squib? Yep. What's that? It is a person born to magical parents that has no magical ability. So like if me and your mom were both mag were magical and then you didn't have the ability to be magical, you would be a squid. Would my memory be erased? I don't know. I don't think so. I think they let squibs keep their memory because there are a couple of squibs that we meet throughout the books. That are full grown adults? Mm-hmm. And know yeah. all about Hogwarts. One is actually at Hogwarts. Wait. Why is it? Oh, is it flit? Flitch? Is it um flitch? Filch. Filch. Yes. What if someone discovers the wizarding world and pretends to be a student there? That would be crazy. Mm -hmm. What would the sorting hat do with them? Hmm, I don't know. I think they'd get busted by the sorting hat. I know, but like. They wouldn't really enroll, so they would never get called. Well, they have to have a place to live. Well, then they would just hide in a dormitory. How would they get in? They have to know the password. They could pretend to be a Ravenclaw <laughs> if they were smart enough to figure out about wizards. Then they would be smart enough to to figure out a riddle, right? You would think so, yep. Yeah. There is a character that we know that tried to get into Hogwarts and was told no by Dumbledore. Who? Aunt Petunia. Why? Because her sister was going and she really wanted to go too, but she didn't have any magical capability. Well, what? French. Filch. Filch doesn't have any, yet she can go. So he didn't, I don't think he went to Hogwarts. Maybe he did, and they found out he was a squib. But uh, Aunt Petunia was born to muggle parents, not magical parents. So wait, Voldemort and Harry are like the only, like, um, half-bloods? No, there's a lot of half-bloods. A lot of half-bloods. Hagrid said in the movie that there aren't any more people who are half-blood or less. No, what he said was, is there's not a wizard alive who's not half-blood or less. Meaning that there's almost no full bloods left. Why? Because there's just not very many of them, and it's hard to uh, make more. Really? Once somebody's not full-blood anymore, they can't ever be full-blood again. Like, there's always going to be non-magical blood but that's the but there's always the multiplying effect basically if it starts out with powers and oh then this is the bathtub do something and do something more and more and more the, right. the numbers keep duplicating yes until there's like seven million like on earth because there there was two people on earth and now there are seven million Mm, yeah. That's the multiplying effect. But no one has Adam and Eve's direct blood because we've mixed and mixed and mixed, right? Yes. Yeah. But everybody is That's related. That's what they're saying. But okay. everybody is related. All right. We are starting to use some stickers. We used both a sticker fives. Now we're using sticker six. Hey, Dad. Ba -ba -da. Madam Maxime, why are you tailed?
This is the prefix bathroom, banana, Judah. This is the big banana, bathtub. Banana, Isn't that cool? Banana, my booty gets on fire. <laughs> Sorry. Um, that's not the issue. I need to check the camera on the phone. Oh, okay. Okay, we're still recording. No, 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 no. No, 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 it's just not showing my watch. Okay. We're starting in three, three two, two, one. one. Okay. All right, where am I? Right here. We're going to put this over here. Okay. I like how they did the bath water coming out of the faucets. That's pretty cool. Faucet. Why do they have a special bathroom for prefix? Aren't they just prefix? Well, I'm sure the head boys and girls get to use it too. But there are certain privileges that you can earn by being a really good student. And that would be one of those privileges that you get a private bathroom. What? How do you become a prefect or head boy or head girl? Um, you get chosen by Dumbledore based on um, how hard you work and how much you contribute to your house. And then the head boy and head girl are picked from the two best prefects each year. Dumbledore is, um, but again, picked by Dumbledore. No, but like Dumbledore's um, rear end is very close to the fire. Oh, that is his coattail kind of thing, the end yeah. of his robes there. Yes. But there should be some kind of twisting mechanism, right, Dad? Mm. That would yeah, be a if there was more. a little crank, that would be good. Uh, ooh, we're gonna actually make this like stained glass. This is cool. Because it's very hard to move with your fingers, right? You would have to keep changing your nostrils and eventually you would have to go there. And... Okay, so there's that stained glass mermaid. And she's gonna go into the bathroom here. Ooh, the mermaid can't move, right, Dad? Well, yeah, she's a moving picture, which is pretty interesting for stained glass. I always found that part very interesting. Remember how um, it took, like, um, what's his name? Cedric. Cedric. Drick. An hour to find out when yeah. the mermaid was awake and, like, posing. And it just took, like, Harry a minute to find out what it was when the and the mermaid was even sleeping. Yeah. I think that uh, Harry had a little bit of help. Do you remember who helped Harry? Moaning Myrtle. Yeah. But wasn't Moaning Myrtle with Cedric as well? She was watching him, but she wasn't helping. She didn't talk to him. Why? Um, she is only wants to talk to certain people. Why? Because she's a ghost and she can do whatever she wants, I guess. Without getting hurt. Yeah. But the only people who can do that is other people. <laughs> Why you bless me? Why you save me? Sorry. <clears throat> and anyways, is um... Oh yeah, she went with Ron. Who here we go with? To the U ball again? Who did Harry go with to the old ball? Uh -huh. He went with uh, Padme Patel. Is that her? No, that's for De La Cour. Did Ron go with her? No, Ron went with Padme's twin sister, Parvati Patel. And in the book, they're in different houses. One is in Gryffindor and one is in... Ravenclaw, but in the movies, they're in the same house. Wait, why? I don't know. That don't make sense. Why do you have to separate twin sissies? So in the book, she did it on purpose to show that just because you're in the same family doesn't mean you're automatically in the same house. Uh, I don't know why they didn't keep that up in the movies. <laughs> But, like, her face looks evil. Like, look at her face, Dad. This is her 
Smiley face. She is going to actually marry another character. Uh, and it's going to be a big scene. Oh, is it Ron? It's not Ron. Uh, it's Wait. one of Ron's brothers. Did she use a love potion? She did not. Oh, who is it? Percy? Uh, not Percy. It's, uh, I think it's Bill. I always get Bill and Charlie confused. One works with dragons and one works for Gringotts. And it's the one that works with dragons. Wait, so do they actually love each other? Yes. Or is, was it like arranged or something? It wasn't arranged. They actually like each other. Oh, okay. That's nice. But why does she look evil about it? Well, remember, she's part Vila. Oh, so... Oh. Okay, so she used evil magic. She didn't use evil magic. She's just part magical creature. And that's why her face looks evil? Like maybe. Or maybe she's just mad at her date. So what... So special about Vila's? Um, they make people attracted to them. How? Uh, through a song. Remember at the Quidditch World Cup? Oh yeah, I remember that. Oops. Okay, this is going to get. Number six. So technically, Vila's, no matter what, have a magical ability, yes. right? Yep. So technically, no matter what, they would get into Hogwarts, right? Not necessarily. But they have a magical ability. Well, but they're magical creatures, not humans. But she is part human. Yes, she is mostly human with a little bit of Vila. And remember, her wand is actually a Vila hair. It has a Vila hair core, yes. Yes, yeah, so, um. Oh, this has a picture of Fox wait, on it. A picture of Fox? Yep, it has a picture of the Sorting Hat and a picture of Fox. Which is funny, because the last time we, we built this, we built a piece that had actual Fox and the Sorting Hat. Uh, I don't know if there's it's a link. Okay. We'll see if we can get a link in the description. Really? Or you can just check out our playlist called Harry Potter Scenescape. It has all of the Harry Potter videos that we have done. so I can actually have a Beyblade. That would be cool. Like, I could make a Beyblade. Because there are a ton of useful pieces, like the spinning pieces, mm -hmm. the the middle gear, just so many good pieces for it. <coughs> that goes backwards. Okay. okay. Sorry, I'll go grab a cough drop. Okay, go quick. Got a little bit of cold running through our family right now. Making some bookshelves for Dumbledore's office. It looks like most of the stickers me, are for Dumbledore's for, office. For me, the sniffles are gone, but um, I have an extreme coughing sequence right now. Oh! It's a break! In my mouth. What I was saying is it looks like most of these stickers are centered around Numbledore's office. Mm -hmm. Look, Moit, it's the Yule Ball! We found exotic creatures! Wait, I wonder if um, her and Hagrid are um, actually related. I don't know. I doubt it. 
I did see though that this sticker right here says moody and then underneath it, it says unforgivable and then one, two, three. So maybe we're gonna build part of a de far defense against the dark arts classroom of Mad-Eye Moody. I already can tell that we're gonna do this. Behold the power of Judas! And yeah! Here we go. All right, here's that pensive. Place it yet? I'm gonna place it. I'm gonna place it now. Uh, I don't know where to place it. Place it on the top, right here. Obvious. These bags are not going as quickly as any of the others, right? This one's been a little bit slower. This one's got a lot of tiny pieces <laughs> and a lot of stickers. We've almost used almost <laughs> all of the stickers. There's Three stickers left. Four stickers left. Hey, I have this sort of Gryffindor. Yes, I pulled it out of my hat. Oh no, Harry didn't do that. That was totally me. He he was just telling the tale with, with him instead of me. And it, yeah, it was totally me. Well, we're not going to have any stickers left. Harry, only a pure Gryffindor can pull that out. And you, you are that. Gryffindor. So Harry is technically en an enemy of the heir of Slytherin. Mm. Yes, he would be, wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. But he's cup? also like. Do you have a cup? No. Okay. Uh, that I I don't have a cup. I swear. Okay. I actually don't. I believe you. I think I'm supposed to build it. So Honestly, it looks like this. And this is going to go right here I mean, for his desk. Did. That's pretty cool. What he did. I don't know what to do anymore. Okay. <clears throat> oh no, I did. Oh no, I don't be. Uh, dead. What? Ooh, your pants. Bam. The weird thing is, he can't actually sit at his desk. <laughs> he can still sit. He, he never comes with legs. Right? 24 times 25 equals 7. And the science. The science because we have gotten many pairs of him with actual legs. I don't think we've gotten any pairs with him with legs. Come back, buddy. I'm going to get you a pair with the legs. Though. No, just. What should she be? All right. Here. Wait, I just realized if what? she's getting married to Ron's brother, then why is she cheating? She's not cheating. Okay. But she's dancing with Ron. She's not dancing with Ron. And they're not married yet. Mm. Are they engaged or something? No, they're not anything yet. Mm. I think this goes over here like this. There we go. All right, so there is bags one and two. We now have the Dumbledore office part done. So we are moving on to bag three, our last bag for today. Where and we get, we get Cedric and um, Ron. Oh. Dad, where should she go? Run up, boy! Oh! Okay! Ron has the red torso and the shorter legs. I want the heads and the wands and the hair. I want all of it. 
they're just mine, okay? No one else can have them, okay? Just leave me dead on. I can't believe that um Draco was able to tell that Ron was a Weasley yeah. just by looking at him. And they are gonna share one, so we're back to sets where the characters come with shared wands wands in the bag. Hey, um <clears throat> Dad? Yeah. I feel like um Draco, Malfoy, and Harry Harry Potter wouldn't be enemies. If um Harry was put in Slytherin, you hear? Yeah. Maybe not. Because they, it felt like they would actually be really good friends. Hmm. You think Harry would be not nice like Draco? Mm, no, like just like friends, not enemies. Oh, okay. But. Harry just made that slip and then the void between them fell apart. Yeah. Draco wanted to be friends with Harry at the beginning. Yeah, and too. Ooh, he comes with the moving short legs. Oh, cool. You don't get very many of those. Mm hmm I would say they were would be very rare. And here are the finished products. So wait, technically Ron and the Vila girl are going to be related. Yep, they'll be brother and sister-in-law. Or sister and brother-in-law. It's the same thing. So technically he will kind of be part Vila, right? No. But he'll be um, also like related to Vila, right? He'll be related to someone that is per Vila, yes. By marriage. Yeah. We need Hermione, but like, does Hermione actually use a love potion? No, Hermione does not use a love potion. Do you remember who Hermione's, Hermione's date was to the old ball? Oh, I'm looking at him. Yep. Cedric. Not Cedric. I mean, not Cedric Diggory, um, Victor. Victor Crumb. I am the victor of Hermione's. But I can't believe, I really expected, um, Hermione and Cedric, and, um, Harry to do that, not Cedric. That that really took a turn yep. in like my shit. Do you remember who it made very unhappy? What? Who was very unhappy that she was going to the dance with Cedric? Ron. With, with Victor, yes. Wait, why was he mad? I don't know. Wouldn't he be happy that that like basically Hermione's boyfriend friend it, Friend is like world famous, and technically that would make him very. He's literally like friends with two people who are somewhat in the zone to be called famous. Yeah. Like Hermione with Victor Crumb, she's technically in the zone of famous, and yeah. then Harry. My question is, how come Ron isn't very recognized? Well, he's like from he's a, not famous at all. Yeah, he's from a really big family. Wait, is who's this? Cedric? Yes, Cedric Diggory. <coughs> who's his date? Uh, Cho Chang. Do we get a Cho Chang? Not in this set. <gasps> is he a prefect? But remember that that's who uh, Harry wanted to ask.
But I'm also surprised Hermione has not become famous. And is he a prefect? Uh, Cedric? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's how he had access to the prefect's bathroom. Oh. So technically, he got Harry got permission from a prefect, right? Yes, correct. So technically, he could be in there? I guess so. Because he was invited by a prefect? Yeah. But I'm surprised Harry has not become a prefect himself yet. He's been doing so many good things. Well, you have to wait till your fourth year. Oh, then he becomes a I'm sorry, your fifth year, I guess. Then he becomes a prefect? I don't know. You'll have to wait but and see, Dad, I guess. But, I'm not allowed to become a wizard or be sorted into my house. Why am I even a Hufflepuff yet? Why is that? Because I'm 10 and not 11. This is true. This okay. is true. So I'm surprised that Harry wasn't like allowed to be in there. But does Harry become a prefect in his fifth year? Guess you'll have to wait and see what happens in that book, huh? Mm -hmm. Wait, does he become head boy and a prefect? Guess you'll have to wait and see what happens in those books. That huh? would be so like insane if he was like head boy. That would be insane. Oh, so it doesn't happen. Oh, it might. <laughs> Sit up, buddy. Restarting mm -hmm. system. Beep, beep, beep. Okay, I'm back. I think this bag's gonna go fairly quickly. It's a lot more larger pieces. Hey, Dad, why yeah. isn't the spinning thing working? It looks like it's working to me. Dude, look at this. Yeah, it the, looks like it's working. The U-Ball part isn't spinning. Don't make them fly off. Come on, they're planted in there. There's no way they're gonna... Oh, wow, that flop flew off. Do that. Um, Let's not do that anymore, okay? I was just joking. I don't know if you are. My movie is planted in my seat. Good. And I don't know where she should go, to be honest. Who is she? Moto Mix Me! Mm, it's a tough one. Bum, 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 bum. I'm surprised they didn't put a Hagrid in this set, though. Yeah, I guess they felt like eight minifigures was enough. Yeah, not nine, apparently. I think it was the last one that we did, the Great Hall. Didn't it come with ten? Yeah, but like we only got one. Uh, it's very confusing, okay. But I just realized we have multiple Dumbledore's offices. Yeah, because we got one in the Great Hall too. I'm a little confused by that as well. Uh, no, I think that was an attic of some sort. Maybe. But like in the previous ones. Like mm. the first two with the Gryffindor in the Ravenclaw common room. I don't remember another Dumbledore's office. Uh, okay. Well, I guess this is the first Dumbledore office. We have to go back and look, huh? So, yeah, I'm surprised they also didn't include a golden egg in this set. Yeah. Because, like, underwater stuff. Yeah. Well, because it has the prefix bathroom. We did have the golden egg in what set? What set was that? The, uh, the thing. The Hungarian horntail mm -hmm. one, that, yeah. I want to get it. Not right now. Can we get it? Not right now. Oh, hey, Dad. Yeah. I'm surprised they also didn't include any other Tri Wizard sets. Like they made, they didn't make like the um, mermaid one. 
So the mermaid one they have made in the past, but you're right, there's not a current one. Ooh, this one has me. That this mini figure has me. That's cool. And so does this one, I believe. Oh, yep, she does. Is this one as well? Uh, no, it doesn't. Not really. So all of Ron's dreams was stolen by Harry, I think, because of what you said. It's an interesting theory, buddy. Like, Ron was wanting to be the prefect and head boy. Yeah. <coughs> Wait, does Draco become a head boy? You have to tell me this. I don't have to tell you that. Yes, you do. Stop. Stop. Yes, Okay, tell me and I'll stop. Tell me. Please tell me. I won't stop complaining. And then you tell me. You're telling me. I don't remember if Draco becomes head boy or not. Okay, at least you were being honest. By that smile, I'm guessing that you weren't. No, I wasn't. I really don't remember if he does or not. Like, I could imagine Draco being, like, Harry being to Dr Draco, like, Draco, come on, just move out of the way. And you're like, who's going to stop me? Um, me? I'm a prefect and a head boy. And head boy. <clears throat> My dad will hear about this. Oh. It's like, it's like the mommy meme or, like, something, like, Silly happens to somebody and they're like, Mommy! But like, instead it's like, Daddy! Yeah. With Draco. Yeah. So it's like, he always calls for his dad. My father will hear about this. As a matter of fact, the actor that played uh, Draco Malfoy, his name is Tom Felton, and he has a TikTok, TikTok challenge going on right now to see who can say the best Potter. Potter. Like that? I guess. Was that good? I think it was pretty good. Will I win? I don't know. I want to win. How much? What will you win if you do win? I think you just get to be in one of his TikTok videos. Dad, look. Oh yeah. Probably already built. Cool. I can see the future. You can also be quite loud. Daddy, does Harry become a prefect? No. Tell me. I just did. He doesn't? No. Why? Uh, that I'm not going to tell you. Then why did you say in book five? I said you would find out in book five. So far we found out that he's not a prefect. No. Then why in book five? Because that would be his fifth year, so you'll find out who does become a prefect instead of him. Is it, is it Ron? Maybe. Is it Hermione? I'm surprised. He's been doing so many good things for Gryffindor. And the school itself. Like, yeah. he's literally been saving it from Voldemort. Year after year. Yes. And other bad witches and wizards. Yeah, like who? Who else? Um, serious when it's actually Peter Pettigrew. Yeah. But yeah, like, he's really, I'm surprised that Dumbledore didn't do that, right? You know, I think a lot of people were surprised. I bet it's from my Hermione, uh, they always pick one boy and one girl. Yeah. So I bet it's going to be Hermione. And there's only two head boy and head girls, right? There's one head boy and one head girl. Yeah. And you're seven. And, and there's like four of each one. Yes. And there's like four prefects. Wait, no, not for, um, 
Let's see that. There's four, four it, girl there's prefix. There's prefix. Well, there's several prefix. There's a fifth year set of prefix, a sixth year set of prefix, and a seventh year set of prefix. Oh. But of the seventh year set of prefix, one boy and one girl will become the head boy and the head girl. So each year it changes? Yes, because seventh year is your last year at Hogwarts. So you're just the head boy or girl for one year. Hey, at least you get it to be it for one year. Yep. And not zero. Like Harry. Yep. So right now, in the book that you're in, I don't know who the head boy and girl is, but in year three for Harry, One, which is Prisoner of Azkaban, it was Percy. And still has to be Percy. No, Percy's graduated now. He's working for the ministry. Remember? Oh, yeah. Crack off. No. Crouch. Crouch. Professor Crouch. Not Professor it's professional. Oh, oh wow! I didn't know how I did that. Yeah. Like, um, it gave it a lot more freedom. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Look, middle gear turns, and then it's planted. Cool. Fire down. I think we are getting close to being done, buddy. Wait, wait, Dad, Dad, Dad. Watch yep. this. Watch this. Cool. I'm gonna burn you. Don't burn me. That would be bad. Oh, there's a unicorn horn stuck in that block. Oh, Alright. Judah, that goes on top of that. The goblet of fire. Oh, wow. That look. Yep. Go ahead and put it in there for me. Why is the fire blue? And why didn't they include papers is my question. Well, because of the old ball, the champions had already been picked. That will, while the fire is blue, doesn't it like boom, boom, boom? Like pew, pew, pew. Maybe. I don't know what has happened to this channel, to be honest. You're going crazy, that's what's happened. No, oh, I have not. I don't think it's you. Hey. Hey, you there. Can you give Voldemort's power back? Oh, yeah, you there. You there, big guy. Oh, no, no, I don't mean you do that. Wait, no, no, you, oh. I don't know what has happened to this channel either, okay? Right, I think I'm finishing no, up no, here, you know? you're not a Death Eater. Wait, so Death Eaters are technically controlled without a choice? All right, so there is the contents of bag three here. Got a whole bunch of stuff in there. I'm guessing this is going to build up to make the clock tower, and then that will connect onto what we did in bags one and two. I accidentally closed this without marking my spot. So that is it for this time. Next time we will finish building it, and we will uh, review it hey, and Dad. put all the uh, pieces together. And then we will be done with the Hogwarts part, Dad, right? Do these go together? Uh, not yet. I think they will eventually, yes. We only have one sticker left out of all those sticker sheets, out of all those stickers. We're going to put that in there to mark that. These are extra pieces. All right. So until next time, everyone. Happy building. Happy building.